Good afternoon. This is your News for Now update. I'm Kay Ingram. And right now, police are looking for the driver involved in a deadly hit and run on the Upper East Side. A woman was struck and killed after being hit by not one, but two vehicles. And one of them was an MTA bus. News 4's Gabi Acevedo is here with the latest on the investigation. Police continue to search for the driver more than 17 hours after this horrifying hit and run accident that killed a woman. It happened here at the intersection of East 96th Street and 3rd Avenue on Thursday around 6 o'clock during the evening rush hour. At this point, a senior police official says the victim may have, may have been in her 20s or 30s and was hit by the driver of a dark sedan who fled the area. After tossing the woman into the middle lane, investigators say the driver hit the victim as she was walking across the street and sent her flying into the direction of an incoming MTA bus killing her. It appears the woman was crossing Third Avenue at the time of the accident inside the crosswalk, but against the traffic signal. Police say the force of the impact knocked the woman into the path of the bus, which then ran her over and dragged her at least 25 feet across the road. She was rushed to the hospital, but could not be saved. I spoke with a police officer this morning that confirmed that the identity of the victim has yet to be revealed. It appears she was not carrying personal identification at the time of the accident. Meanwhile, police continue to search, trying to locate that car and, of course, the driver involved who was behind the wheel. Reporting from the Upper East Side, Gabi Acevedo, News 4 New York. All right, Gabi, thanks for that. Just a devastating story there. Now, a man in Hudson County is suing the makers of the wildly popular app Pokemon Go because he claims the app is discriminatory against the visually impaired. The North Bergen man who is visually impaired says the maker Niantic is violating the Americans with Disabilities Act. He claims that the app and the company's website are inaccessible to him and others with his disability. Now, we've reached out to Niantic but have not heard back. And we are getting our first look at a beloved Jersey Shore landmark after some serious cosmetic surgery. Nearly all of the scaffolding has been removed from Lucy the Elephant and Margate. The beloved 141-year-old attraction underwent a major restoration that began in September of last year. Lucy's rusted tin skin was removed and replaced with more durable metal. The cost of the project has far exceeded expectations by more than a million dollars. A grand reopening is planned for December 28th. And it's the most wonderful time of the year. Christmas Con begins today at the New Jersey Convention and Expo Center in Edison. It's the event where fans of Christmas movies can meet stars from Hallmark, Lifetime, Great American Family, and more. The event will also include a special Christmas tree lighting, panels, and even wreath-making classes. Christmas Con ends on Sunday. And happening today, Jingle Ball returns to Madison Square Garden. Lizzo is expected to perform. Lizzo is expected to perform tonight along with several other stars, including Dua Lipa, Demi Lovato, and others. The annual holiday concert is hitting 10 cities through this year through December 18th. And for the first time, tonight's Jingle Ball will be streamed at IMAX theaters across the country. Now, the New York City Parks Department is launching a map to help you see the city like never before. It's an online map of 800,000 trees in the five boroughs. Now you can click in to learn everything about an individual tree, from species and health to inspection records. The Parks Department says the map is the most comprehensive and up-to-date living tree map in the entire world. Fun fact, Flushing Meadows Corona Park, Queens, has the most landscape trees in the city. And the most planted tree in the city is called a London plane tree. Time to take a look at your weather forecast. Dry weather to wrap up the work week and head on into Saturday. Things look good. It is going to be cool. Keep in mind, it's uh, certainly going to feel like December. Wintry weekend as that cold air sticks around. And as we head on into uh, Sunday, we're talking about a snow chance, especially in interior sections and up at elevation to the north and west. So Saturday, cooler. Temperature only into the low 40s. Sunday, the thermometer doesn't change much. Rising rain chances, a mix in a snow uh, combination combination as we head further inland and to the north and west. High pressure, that's the good news as we take you through the weekend, but cold weather is uh, going to be the order of the day, and then that sloppy Sunday afternoon into Monday. That's what we're looking at. In general, one to three inches, I think, what we're expecting to the farther areas of the north and west, a little bit of a mix just south of that, and just a cold rain as we head on over the city. That's a quick look at your weather forecast, Kay. All right, Dave, thanks for that. Well, that's it for now. I'm Kay Ingram. Thanks for joining us. 